Hey guys, this is Soul Rack 333 with another custom review, and here I have my custom Fortnite Demona. I finally made a little Demona. This figure started off as the Fortnite kit figure, and again, I don't know who that is. I don't know anything about Fortnite, nor do I care. Uh, when I saw this figure in the store, I knew this would become Demona. Uh, the mech part is still unpainted. I did dry brush a little bit of silver rub and buff to give it a slightly weathered look. Uh, but most of the paint went towards the little kitty. So here is Demona. Uh, if you saw Demona and Angela together, you could definitely tell them apart. Uh, they are both calicos, but Demona is mostly black with some tan and white, and Angela is mostly white. Um, here is the other Demona that I did. So I used this as a reference. I did notice when I painted this time uh, she does have more tan on her side than when I painted this one here. And this figure definitely suits Demona perfectly. Demona is a little scaredy cat. And I would imagine that maybe she wouldn't need a giant mech to boost her confidence. So here she is with her sister Angela. So yeah, this, this came out perfect for both of them. Angela, kind of a tomboyish, very uh, active, and you know, very playful. And then Demona, little scaredy cat, you know, needs to build up her courage a little bit. But what's funny is that when they play together, Demona is definitely the more dominant of the two uh, when they wrestle. Um, but other than that, she's a little scaredy cat. Um, unless she's in my man cave where I keep all of my collections, then she's very friendly, cuddly, and sweet. You know, she rolls around, shows me her belly, and I'm able to pet her. Um, when I'm walking around the house though, I have to make sure I avoid eye contact with her because uh, it, I don't know if she feels threatened. If I'm walking towards her, I need to look away at something else. Uh, then she's fine, but if I walk towards her and look at her, she feels threatened and runs away. If I reach down to try to pet her, she goes away. So, you know, she feels safe in my man cave and in the kitchen if I'm preparing their food um, but yeah here they both are and they both turned three last month they were born in our neighborhood and then my mother-in-law rescued the whole family she brought the mama cat and the four kittens into her house and you know for two months and when they were old enough to be adopted we took the two calicos and then uh, the mama cat and the two siblings went to another family so you know they were able to stay together and we got these two to be shadows little sisters and it worked out perfectly he loved them and they loved him he was a good big brother. It's just, it's just a shame that we lost Shadow. You know, especially after losing Goblin a month before. You know, 2020 was a rough year, and we lost, we lost Goblin and Shadow. But man, they loved each other, and it was perfect. I think if Shadow was still around, Demona would have, you know, built up her courage a little bit more. You know, watching old videos of them playing, you know, she was good. She was playing with him, you know, and they got along. 
He was a good big brother. Yeah. And here's Goblin. And then now Shadow. And then Ghosty. I guess I should put them in this order. There you go. So go Goblin was the alpha male. Then his sister Ghost. Then Shadow, who used to be the baby. And then Angela and Demona. So two years ago, it was like this. And then we lost these two. Which still hurts. And then it became these three. Go see the big sister. And then Angela and Demona. The gray and the two calicos. And then these three kittens. So, here she is, my custom Fortnite Demona. Thanks for watching, guys.